That's what I imagine fish sound like when they suck on air. Welcome back to Meme Review, guys. Guess what? Guess what? I'm standing. I finally got a standing desk. Your boy can stand. I have so much freedom to... Look at this. Look at this. Look at me. Who am I? Who is this person anymore? Who am I? I can run around with as long as I'm within frame. I got so much energy. I can jump on this little bouncy thing. I can stand. Welcome back to Meme Review, guys, where I review the best memes of the past week. If you want to submit your meme and be featured in this video every single Wednesday, you know what you got to do? You know what you got to do? You gotta go to r slash slurry fella, and then you gotta submit a meme, and then it's gotta be good, and then I gotta review it. We're starting off here with the first meme, Zach and Ben when they're trying to cheat in an event, and then Zach and Ben when Isaac's cheating in an event. Facts, and there's a reason this is true. But also, this guy kinda looks like me with my hair down, but like, real bushy eyebrows. Look at the, look at the size of those chonkers on this dude. Those are literal caterpillars on his face. I mean, mine are no, no different, to be honest with you. Mine are pretty... Mine are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty large as well, to be honest with you, actually. Yeah, those are pretty, pretty, pretty good size. But this is true, and there's a reason for why this is true. We pick on Isaac a lot, and there's a very good reason. It's because when I pick on Ben, Ben has a literal meltdown. He will literally melt down, not speak to you for a week. If he feels any way, in any way, shape, or form, like he lost, he's done. Boom, I'm out. He's gone. Boop. Now, on the other hand, Isaac knows how to take it. Isaac knows how to be picked on like a man, and I appreciate that about him. Also results in us picking on him more. So there is a reason for it. It's because Ben can't take it, Isaac can. At the end of the day, this means that Isaac has actually got a little, little boost. Team Isaac is winning this one. Speaking of proving this dog's not a robot, how about we know how do we know that Loverfellow is not a robot? Alright. Alright. Maybe I am. Maybe I am a robot. What are you gonna do about it? I'm not gonna deny that. I'm not gonna deny my true heritage. Alright? I'm not gonna I'm not going to. I am a robot. And there's nothing you can do about it. Hold up. I'm getting a little bit low on power. Give me one second here. Get that right in there. There it is. Hold on. Gotta get my charger in. So, yeah, I am a robot. Big deal. What's the big deal, guys? Let's all come out as robots. It's not anything to be ashamed of. I'm not ashamed, so you shouldn't be ashamed. Let's move on to the next meme of the day. Three rules. No wishing for death. No falling in love. No bringing back dead people. I wish Loverfell would make a bedrock server. There are four rules. Man, guys, why you gotta do this to me? I want to make a bedrock server. I do. I love you all, but I just haven't done it yet because it's expensive though i'll tell you what when you start i'm not gonna lie when you start getting that first little bit of juice pumping in through the system oh my lord it just energizes you i was i was running on about 45 percent now that we're back up to it's a it's a fast charge we're back up to 57 percent just hits the right spot stop complaining about bedrock servers or 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 draw 25 what are you gonna do i'm gonna draw 25 if i could launch a bedrock server tomorrow i would but you know what would be better how about instead of asking for a bedrock server, how about you go buy yourself a $2,000 gaming computer and join us, all right? Quit acting like that's hard. <laughs> it's so easy. Realistically though, you could probably do it on like a couple hundred dollar machine, but like don't buy a computer just for my server. Buy it for my server and for the internet, maybe, so you can justify it. Thank you. So guys, Tazzy has sent another video to us today. Let's see what she has to say. In Zach's video today, he said that I lost the war. Fun fact, Zach, I actually won because I found a loophole in your system. I put a treat in front of the camera so the dogs would not look at the biscuit, which means I won the war. Plus, would robot dogs need to go on walks? No, I don't think so. Interesting. So one thing that a great commenter pointed out here is that she used the word biscuit, which is a British word. So I guess I was wrong the whole time, guys. You know, I'm a man of my word. I know how to admit when I was wrong, admit defeat. And I can admit today that I was wrong about you, Tazzy's dog. It's not a robot, but it is British. It is a British dog. We have finally come to the correct conclusion. When you hear that thing bark, it'll be very British. Um, it eats a lot of biscuits and we're just a little bit off, guys. British robots, you know, there's just a fine line between those two. We just happen to miss it today. But like I said, I know how to admit when I'm wrong. This is a British dog. So congratulations, Tazzy. But it's a British dog. Got inspired from the Make a Skin event. Wow, that's pretty good. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This communism thing is obviously a joke, right? We, we understand that, it's just a meme. I started getting DMs from people. They're like, yo, I need you to denounce publicly that you don't support communism because they're an oppressive regimen and I can't believe you're out here supporting. Like people legitimately think I'm being serious. I, I, I can't believe it. I mean, it's crazy. Like, guys, really, if you think that this is a real thing that I'm gonna go join the Russian army or something, you got some problems, all right? But there are people out there that think that. There are people out there that think it's true. They're coming at me. They're like, yo, what's you doing? And I'm like, I mean, it's it's a little crazy, I think. Um, we will continue on though, comrades. With the Russian army. I'm the dumbest man alive. Zach and Loverfella are the same person. You're clearly dumb. Yeah, it's kind of weird to be honest with you. Like a lot of people out there have been messaging me and being like, hey man, I'm pretty sure you're actually Loverfella. And it, it's, you know, it's a compliment. He's a great guy, a lot of subscribers, but hello, do we look alike at all? 
I mean, clearly we make different content. I'm a different person than him and we will take him down. We're already at 110,000 subscribers. He has 1.4 million. So we've got about 1.3 million to close the gap. But if we can get there and pass Loverfella, dude's going to be mad. I'll tell you that right now. He doesn't think we can do it. Neat Freak, it was so fun to meet you today. I had a great time. Uh, actually, you met Loverfella, not me. But uh, I heard it was a fantastic experience and for those who don't know. It was like a virtual meet and greet. So I met 15 people. We sold out in like an hour. All the tickets sold out in an hour. And, uh, you know, got to meet you guys, take some photos. It's, it's literally one of the most fun things to do, actually, as a YouTuber. Because... You get to make videos and you guys know me so well. Like, I feel like you guys know my story, you know my past, you know how I used to be fat, you know how, like how my life's changed, even probably from a year ago, how different the videos are. But like, I don't know most of you. So to actually get to talk to you guys and like hear how videos might have helped you or impacted you or made you laugh or brought your family together is, it's really cool to actually see because comments only go so far to actually see it is, is it's a really crazy experience. So it's cool. All right, that's too, that's too sappy. We'll move on. What gives people feelings of power? Money? status being in an event now this is interesting because i'm in every single event and i really feel like it's not this accurate i feel like status is the biggest being in an event is way way down i'm just kidding but i, I do like when people get it for the first time i feel like the reactions you get on their first event they're trying to get in for months and they finally get in it's like yes i did it and then they see how stupid some events are and they're like trying to escape from a toilet and they're like i waited three months for this unsubscribe zach challenges dream in minecraft Maybe we'll get a Minecraft 1v1 between Dream and Zack. Guys, we could, but like, I'm so good at Minecraft, like, why would he play me? Obviously, I would destroy him. Obviously, I would beat him in every way possible. I'd outspeed run him. I'd out PvP him. I'd beat him in every way. Um, it'd be it'd be a pretty, uh, pretty easy event. Obviously, I would be wearing whatever armor I decide to give myself. Um, I make the rules here. Maybe he's not wearing any, any armor at all. I also make the rules here. And he starts in a pit of lava, and I start in a pit of healing water. Just an idea. Just an idea, Dream. Let me know. I'll whoop you. I'll whoop you. Zach and Ben asking that where the house they just flipped went. Eyes are gone. Brothers to Adams. We're actually doing a house flip in uh, 29 minutes from right now. Starting up soon. It'll be... Actually, I'm not going to tell you. It's going to be really cool. It'll be the first one we've done like this. But it won't be live when you see this. So, I can't tell you or then it will not be cool. Because you'll know. Hope you like it. Look at this. Amazing fan arts. Um, I should probably maybe guys take a few more Instagram photos. Because there are certain photos that people like to draw or edit or animate over. And it's like the same three. I haven't posted on Instagram picture in like two months. I post on my stories a lot. Like I, I usually like show you guys behind the scenes. Walk through my day and stuff. But like in terms of pictures. I don't take a lot right now. Because I haven't had a haircut. As you can see in uh, six months. Seven. Six, six. It's been six months. I'm getting one this week though I believe. So goodbye. To this ugliness. Cough and dance faster than the event. Let's see it. Very good. Very good. Rush, Owen, you did it very well. I love that people... I don't even know how you use music blocks. I really don't. How do you learn this, dude? Maybe I should stop trying to learn piano songs, and I should start learning music blocks. Speaking of music, I got a pretty mean Beat Saber, guys. Like, you see me out here in Beat Saber? Like, I'm actually, like, I'm actually, like, pretty good at it. Uh, for real. Like, I play the hardest mode. I whoop it up. By the time I'm done, I'm dripping sweat. My controllers are sweaty. My back is sweaty. My shirt's wet. But I got it perfect. I actually never get perfect. Zach's mom. Oh, boy. This will be good. Zach's mom, after coming back in his life, after he becomes famous. <laughs> cha cha real smooth. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, I feel like I'm at the point now where if she was going to attempt that, she would have. And she, she hasn't. I mean, from this point on, it's only going to be harder to reach me, probably, right? If the channel keeps growing, ideally, it gets harder to reach me. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's not going to happen. I think um, after she sued me, that was the last time we talked. A little bit of story on that, if you guys care. So some asked, like, why she sued me. It was because of student loans. It does, it's kind of boring, to be honest. But what's interesting is, before she sued me, I remember I emailed her, and I was like, I'm going to shoot her an email, and we're going to, like, we're going to fix this, you know? Like, I was reaching out for, like, the fifth time to try to fix the the bridges she burned and i was like you know let's let's fix this you know i'll forgive her and i sent her an email this was the email to start that this is a little drama sorry guys but she wrote back and she was like actually she didn't write back at all her lawyer wrote back and he was like like dear zachary please do not communicate with your mom she, her name anymore uh we are filing a lawsuit against you and it was crazy because that was the email that i was trying to forgive her for and the email she sent back was from her lawyer and i was like what the heck is this? so that's where i just kind of cut it i was like all right i've put in the effort to fix this it's 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 not good but i don't know i feel like I wouldn't be here without that because then I push myself so hard to be like, I hate you.
Not really the kind of look at me now, you know, kind of thing. Rip old Skyblock. But guess what, guys? Welcome to the new Skyblock. If you haven't seen it yet, there's a new series Skyblock on my server, on my channel, where what we do is actually whatever the most upvoted comment is every week. So if your upvoted comment says, every time you dig a hole, you gain a piece of gold, I don't know. Whatever it is, we're gonna custom code it and add it. So after like 20 episodes, it will be the most crazy Skyblock series you will ever see in your entire life. So check it out, it's called Operation Skyblock. It is on the main channel. One episode per week, just like meme review, which is ending right now. Guys, submit your memes to be in next week's meme review. We've got 5,000 members right now, which is crazy, but I'd like to see it get to 10,000 by next week. Let's double it in a week. Seems pretty achievable. Look that screen, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>